Okay, guys, this will be the shortest video I've ever made in my life. Um, so, uh, this is still 7.6, We're looking at fundamental interactions. This is just a table giving you kind of a summary of what we spoke about in the last video, that you've got the four fundamental interactions, gravitational, weak, electromagnetic, and strong. And now, well, I want to get to that now, but recall that the required attributes for these interactions for gravity is mass, for the weak force is the weak charge, for the electromagnetic is electrical charge, and for strong is the color charge. Okay, now one quick thing here that's very interesting, we did mention it in the previous video, is that look at how much stronger these interactions are relative to gravity. Okay, so it's very weak. As we spoke about it, if you, you know, you're sitting on your chair and you've got your calculator in front of you, your laptop, you're not very attracted to one another, are you? So the gravitational interaction is the weakest. And look at how much smaller it is. It is 10 to the 25 times um, smaller, weaker, than the weak charge, the weak force, the weak interaction and up to 10 to the 38 times weaker than the strong force, strong interaction, okay? But the thing about these guys is that they only, I need to make 100% sure about the electromagnetic, but these guys generally only interact. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I didn't even look at this. They only interact at this range. Look at this. These guys interact at a tiny, tiny range. Whereas the gravitational force acts right across the universe. And the reason why this uh, determines the structure of the universe is because when you start to talk about cosmological sizes, you're talking about uh, the masses of suns, masses of galaxies. Then this, this guy starts to, to, um, to play, right? Come into play. And then this guy electromagnetic uh, interaction um, as we said in the previous okay this is not turning out to be the shortest video ever as we said in the previous video there are equal positive and negative charges for the electromagnetic uh, interaction and so as you go to larger sizes um, these charges tend to cancel out okay so that's why the electromagnetic charge on the larger ranges, similar to, to this one, they cancel out. And so eventually, what the, the only interaction that really plays a role on the cosmological scale is gravity. Okay. Now, I hope that didn't confuse you too much. Now, recall the gauge particles. The gauge particles are these exchange particles which are due to interaction so whenever you have this attribute whenever something has this attribute um, then these and there's an interaction there's a force then these particles are exchanged okay but we we saw that the graviton these ones have been discovered but the graviton has not yet been discovered okay so now I did speak about talking about the standard model. The standard model is a model that describes kind of the mass and it also describes force. Okay, the force carriers and mass carriers, quarks, leptons, things like that, right? But I was considering trying to explain it, but then I found these videos which I feel will do so much better than I can do. So I'm just going to recommend these videos, um, and you can find many more on YouTube. Fermilab, uh, the standard model, so you can just click on this, and you can click on this, and you can look at two, and, and look at multiple videos on this to try to get understand, uh, an, an understanding of what is a gauge particle, um, what are fermions, right, what are bosons, and, uh, and then you'll begin to understand more about what we're talking about here when we talk about gauge particles. Okay, so I'm just going to repeat, please try to do look at these two and more so that you can understand 
um, what we're talking about over here. Okay, see you in the next one.